we just wrapped up filming uh, the last of the episode three, but I just kind of felt like I had to share this too. Like, I, I don't think people realize that that this is this is not easy. Like, I share a lot of stuff that's um, very uh, deep and and uh, it's almost like reliving a lot of pain and stuff sometimes. So. I think that's why I choose to share this stuff is because it's really raw. It's it's the truth. It's it's the ugliness um, that we deal with sometimes, um, you know, behind the scenes. And I just happen to start capturing as I'm going through this because none of this is scripted. None of the webisodes are scripted. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what the next webisode is going to be because I don't even know. I'm just capturing what's happening to me right now. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but there's some real truth to all of what's happening and how it's it, it takes courage to pick yourself up through some of this stuff and and I'm just happening happening to capture while it's happening to me because that's what really happens that's what really happens in the real world and I think so many people believe that you have to be a CEO that you have to be uh, a millionaire you have to have some organization that you built from ground zero to be successful and it's BS man Every day, there's people out there that are leaders that are making a difference that are important to their team. Um, and that's kind of what I'm trying to capture is that the everyday leader is never going to get credit for what they do, is never going to be, you know, uh, put into the limelight. And, you know, I appreciate what you guys go through because I go through it myself and I live it. So, and I think that's that's what's so important, man. That's what's kept me grounded in this this project is to just share what it's really like to go through, and and you're gonna experience this stuff, and it's gonna affect you. But it's gonna be your leadership is gonna be your salvation in all of this, and that's what's so important because during times like this is when you grow the most, and. That's what's happening to me, too. It's just happening in front of all of you. And so I'm growing. Um, this project is growing. And I'm just capturing it. So it's it's crazy. And I'm just grateful that you're, you're here with me. That you guys are here with me through it. You see, in life, some of us choose to become a leader. And for others, life chooses us. We were called to action when needed, and it brought out the best in us. And I often wonder which one was chosen for me. I don't remember making the choice. I just did what was needed. When asked to do more, I did. When asked to lead others, I did that too. I never knew it would become my path, but I stayed the course. And as time passed, I came to realize I was chosen for this journey. I was chosen to share my hardships, my failures, and my setbacks, but also my victories and how I overcame so many challenges in my life and now to teach others to do the same. So many times I was unsure that I could do this and carry such a burden, but I realized it brought out the best in me. And within each of us, there lies a leader who needs awakening. You must find the courage to follow the path of leadership. Hey guys, welcome back to another webisode. So I want you to know that I appreciate you following me. I appreciate you following on me on this journey, following the podcast, but I want to leave you with something that's really important on this webisode. Being objective about your leadership and overcoming obstacles in your life and work is the most challenging thing that you're ever going to have to do. 
And in this webisode, you're gonna see me go through some of my journeys. Like right now, I am capturing things that are happening to me. I'm capturing uh, not only leadership things, but I'm also capturing personal things that I'm going through. And you know what? Those roads cross. Don't be fooled and not think that those roads don't cross because they do. And in this webisode, I start to take a look back and I stumbled across some things that I recorded a while ago. I think I recorded them almost nine, 10 months ago as this project was evolving. But to, cope, to go back and look at it or actually listen to it, it affected me, it affected me. And I'm so proud that I capture these things in the moment and I encourage you guys to capture as you're going through your leadership struggles and challenges, record them, capture them, because when you play them back nine, 10 months later down the road, you'll never know how they'll impact you. It's almost like I'm hearing myself coach myself back through my challenges in life. Take a look. So yesterday I was actually going through some of my files that I have, you know, just audio recordings. I usually when I'm driving or whatever, you know, on my, my phone, I'll just record some memos. Uh, and I came across this one that, that was during a difficult time when, when my buddy was, you know, fighting for his life. And, you know, I was just having a hard time dealing with it. And, you know, sometimes I find it hard to talk about things that are really bothering me. Um, from a personal standpoint, for some reason, when it's leadership, it's a lot easier. But when it's personal, you know, sometimes it's difficult. But I talk about it um, through these recordings, and then I usually never listen and listen to them again. I just kind of let it go as is. And uh, but I came across this one and kind of hit home to to where I'm at right now. And uh, you know, sometimes feeling lost, sometimes feeling frustrated. Um, sometimes feeling, you know, sorry for myself for whatever reason, you know, and uh, I thought it was pretty, pretty cool to hear myself talk me out of it, which has probably never really happened before. And so I thought it was important to share it with you guys and um, give you pers perspective on life sometimes. And, and working really hard and working at long hours and putting things on the back burner, you know, which is most likely usually my family or my friends. And, and uh, I think as I'm chasing my own dreams and my own goals, I think I've lost perspective sometimes about how important it is to have fun and enjoy life because life is so short to help people and I want to be that person and I'm trying to be that person and, I, and you know as I'm trying to put all these pieces together I'm mean, just simply make sense of what's happening I think and that's who I want to be I want to be that person that helps people that guides people um, but I don't know how to feel about any of this stuff. And even right now, I just, you know, I went into work today for a few hours to kind of, you know, pull my head out of out of the heaviness that I'm feeling right now with, with you know, everything that's going on with, with Renee. And, you know, it's been really hard to focus, even at work. I think everything was moving a million miles per hour, and I just couldn't even comprehend what was happening consumed by my own thoughts and I think that's kind of part of human nature you know we start to get consumed by our own thoughts I just feel kind of lost right now and this seems to be the only way that I know how to talk myself through it as much as everyone thinks that I might be trying to help other people through these podcasts I think a lot of it is actually helping myself you know I'm reminding myself how to focus on being a better me and, and how to be a better person. I'm just afraid. But if there's one thing that I've learned from my buddy Renee, and he exemplifies everything that I've ever wanted to be as a person just to not give up and keep fighting 
to find the fight, enjoy life, enjoy what you can for as long as you can until you find the path. You have to find your path. I'm on that journey right now. And you are too with me. This is not an easy road. It never is. People think this is easy. People think being a leader is easy. It's not. It's filled with hardships. And you're still dealing with very human things that are happening to you at the same time. So as we look back and we talk about the seven values of leadership, you know, you have accountability, you have rigor, you have demonstrate courage, you have lead change, you have communicate effectively, being team orientated, and then also being customer focused and driving results. And when I look back at my own career and I look back at my own life right now, I have to be you know, accountable for who I am. And that falls under self-development, self-awareness. Self-awareness is one of the most important things that you'll ever come to know in your leadership. And I'm starting to become more self-aware of how to pull myself out of those hardships. And that's what these webisodes are all about. Not only am I struggling to come to terms with personal issues and challenges that have affected me deeply, I'm also still struggling to manage all of that through my regular workload. I'm still in the field, guys. I'm still in the field. I still have a nine to five full-time job and I'm working my butt off, right? So I realized that those roads cross and they impact you in so many different ways. So being self-aware of your own leadership is a challenge. And so I wanna share with you uh, this, this other situation that was happening to me uh, regarding my own injury and how it started to affect me and affect some of my morale. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today, you know, honestly, I'll share with you guys that the last couple of weeks have been really, really rough on me. Um, you know, have a knee injury, pretty sure that I tore my ACL. Uh, it's been like two weeks of hell every day, you know, and I'm still going to work, I'm still working through it right now. Uh, you know, I'm getting ready to go into the hospital right now to, to have them uh, scan an MRI on my kneecap or my knee and you know it's a little scary so but uh, you know what I've learned through all this is that sometimes through through hardships you know your your toughness gets tested and so that's no different for me I, I think right now you know yeah I'm nervous and I, I'm afraid and and have a lot of anxiety around it but you know I still got a job to do I still got things that I need to take care of I still have business to take care of and Sometimes you got to push those pains and, and push that stuff aside and so I've had to do that. My mental toughness has been challenged the last uh, few weeks as I've kind of gritted my teeth and, and still did what I had to. Um, so now I'm going to go in there and get, get my MRI and hopefully get results soon and then figure out what's going to happen next which more than likely is going to be surgery on it. And right now I'm having to put on a brave face and put on uh, you know this 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 toughness in front of my team right now, but they could see I'm sure they could see how much pain I'm in. I'm in agonizing pain every day, and yet I'm showing up to work every day to do my job. And so that's uh, it's tough. It, trust me, there's days that I'm in so much pain I could barely even think. But you know we gotta do what we gotta do. So when I say do what it takes to get it done, 
I mean it and I live it and and it's not easy but that's what we chose and we chose to be a leader so sometimes we got to take the bad with the good and right now I'm experiencing some bad uh, personally but I'm gonna get ready to go inside wish me luck hey guys I just finished the <clears throat> MRI not fun not fun at all so I'm heading back to my car right now and man that sucked I'm pretty claustrophobic so an MRI even if it was you know I wasn't completely in it it still sucked so um, all right well it's time to get ready for work you know, just got stuff to do so, like I said you gotta do what we gotta do I get the results in a couple of days. Let me figure out what we're gonna do next. If I need surgery. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, I'm actually driving to the doctor's office today. So it's been about five weeks since I injured my knee. They think it's a torn ACL. It's been over two weeks since since I had my MRI, and so today's the day that I get my results. And so I'm really really nervous about it I know there's something wrong because I'm still in a lot of pain hey guys wish me luck I'm wearing my world's greatest dad t-shirt for my kids because I was really nervous this morning so getting ready to go in I don't know I'm nervous so I got the results back from the doctor right now it's not good they have a, I have a tear I'm definitely gonna have to have some type of surgery hasn't been a good day so I'm a little nervous about that but shit you know as I started to remember why I started this journey I thought it was really important for me to do something for others and what better cause than you know uh, cancer or breast cancer you know uh, donation and so I realized I kind of feel like I needed to do something to help me overcome some of these struggles and overcome some of the the confusion that I was feeling and I said you know what I think the right thing to do is to help others and you know what if you're a leader and I know you are helping others is what we do and so I decided to finally let go of my motorcycle and I love my motorcycle it, it was something very important to me uh, but I thought it was the right thing to do, and so I decided to donate it. Hey guys, good morning. We're actually going to donate my motorcycle today uh, for uh, breast cancer research. I've had it for a while. I'm gonna miss it, but uh, you know it's time to let it go, and it's good. It's time to donate to a good cause, and you know I lost one of my good friends to cancer. So if this is the least I can do, you know it kind of makes sense. So. Uh, I'm gonna miss my bike. I rode it for about a year and uh, I was safe on it, so it took care of me. So it's gonna be a sad day. I'm gonna miss my bike. I didn't think I'd feel emotional about saying goodbye to my bike, but I realized that bike kept me safe during one of the most difficult times in my life. And uh, as I was soul searching to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And, kind of sad. But I think it's good. It's a good thing. Help others. But I'm sad. <laughs>